Congress began a five-week vacation today, but before leaving the House passed a spending bill that contains more than 500 earmarks. Our Cheryl Atkinson has been investigating these expensive pet projects that lawmakers slip into spending bills. Tonight, she follows your tax money to a deserted office complex. This tale begins in the small town of Manicoke, Pennsylvania, population 9,500, where hometown Congressman Paul Konjorski got more than 3 million federal tax dollars to build the Konjorski Center, an office building to attract business and help the local economy. I'm used to getting a great deal of money for my district. But things haven't quite gone according to plan. The Konjorski Center's main tenant moved out almost three years ago, and the building's been empty ever since. Uh, the city's been paying about $15,000 a month while the building has been empty. Local the official John Udichak says the Konjorski Center was badly thought out and has become an albatross. Now Congressman Konjorski has a new plan, one that involves millions more of your tax dollars to build a parking garage for the Konjorski Center in hopes of convincing the local community college to move in. It'll cost you $5.6 million, money Konjorski earmarked for the parking garage project. But there's one big problem. Federal aid can only be used for parking garages that serve mass transit intended for office parking in a congressman's hometown. When Konjorski was notified his project is contrary to federal rules, he said it didn't matter. No, I don't think the rules should be there. I don't think the rules should have any attention paid to it because in the Congress we have our own rules and we allocate this money. It turns out local officials like Udichak also object to Congressman Konjorski's parking garage. We were concerned about that burden being placed on the taxpayers in Anico. Congressman Konjorski calls that sour grapes from a political rival, a fellow Democrat, and says local residents should be happy to get the grants of money he brings home. You call these federal and state grants free money, and the quote is, I don't know anyone who would turn down a free building. It would be funded with, quote, free money from federal and yeah. state grants. It, 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 for the community, it is free money. But it's not really free. Well, it's for, it, Taxpayers it's, are paying It's taxpayers for it. of the United States money, but it, it doesn't cause any difficulty to the community to take that money. It is not free money. It is the taxpayer's money. Now, the congressman looks at federal earmarks, the $5.6 million, as play money. Regardless of whether the town wants to play, Congressman Konjorski now says he'll do whatever it takes to build his parking garage with some of that free money, better known outside of Washington as your tax dollars. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Nanny Coke, Pennsylvania.